So this morning or today rather we are with um, Bike SA with their new product called the Beijing X55. It's an SUV about 4.7 meters long, standard size, you know. Um, and this is, I think, this is front wheel drive. There's no real 4x4 in here. But I mean, it's the nature of the business now in South Africa because a Komdo really that's really after getting e proper SUVs, but we just want the size and people want the right height. And most importantly, you know, people have this notion that SUVs are safer. And right now, the Chinese, the Japanese, and the Koreans, I, I, they are coming for everything. I. Five are going to be turning right, yeah? They're coming for everything. And this one, a bike, um, based in PE, the factory, they've been assembling and now they're going to go into a new stage. We were informed last night at the national launch that um, they're going to be going into building cars in PE. So that looks exciting and it's good for the economy, for the country, for the region as well. So, what are my thoughts on this X55? First things first, it's got a very futuristic front end. And um, as it's got a futuristic style front end, the tail lights are quite nice. They've got something called PHL LD, and the tail lights at the back, they got, you know, whoever did this car, man, made sure that the little details, whether they are plastic or they are real, they are attractive. They actually draw you because even when this car is driving during the day, um, you see the lights are working, the daytime running lights, the fog lights are working. Um, and then there's the side view, and the side view, the most biggest attraction on the side view is that it's got these door levers that pop open when you've got the, the key on you because it's killer's entry and killer's start. Um, these doors that, that got the, the handles that pop open. There's Vulek and Jagakle, and then you can just pull it open and you can get inside the car. Inside the car, we're in a two tone grey one now, no Zizi. As a talk fanatic, look him up, good friend of mine. Um, we in this one that's got these seats that are labeled Beijing and apparently they're inspired by the Lamborghini Urus and I'm going to tell you other inspirations about this car and a lot of it inside here nice materials nice plastics uh, there's a lot of nice things like the way the vents look here man on the side you know here and there's literally no buttons so the people there's buttons on the steering but about probably eight at best and then the infotainment system has got, it's a touchscreen infotainment system. And I won't lie, it's so complex, even though I know com people complained in the GTI that the embedded system was a problem. Here, you do take a bit of a while as well to get to know it. But once you do, the icons for where you want to go are there and they are easy to manage. Right. Um, but it's a nice, it's a, it's a very, very nice place to be in. It's a very good looking car. What are these guys? The problem with driving in convoys is this. And it's a very, very good looking car. I won't lie. Yeah, well, the tail end at the back, they've got this spoiler. It's a split spoiler. It's got the lights, it's got the labeling. And you actually, when you look at this car, nothing says bike about it. The engine, which is uh, driving it, is a 1.5 liter. And what I like about the bike, né? a lot of the materials and some of the things, they switch gear or all these things. You look at them and they look familiar. And you know they are from Mercedes Benz. And they were open and frank about it in their first person. They said they've got a partnership with Daimler. And as they've got this partnership with Daimler, there are things that they benefit from Daimler, which is brilliant. Like you can see this push start button, you can see the gear lever, you can see even the window put touch buttons, the indicator stocks. The only thing that I didn't like about the interior, this cluster, I really, really wish they could do better with the cluster. Um, it would look better because the, 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 the rev counter is in a digital form and it can be very confusing and uh, i wish you could interchange it and i think they said you could interchange it but maybe we haven't missed it yet and this is the thing about the launch drive and this one's pretty rushed so how does the engine drive the ride quality i must say pleasantly surprised it feels very refined let's say just refined two things i can complement with that it's insulated quite well tires are thick even though these are 19s and the other thing is okay this is very new it's got the sunroof that's the top of the range it's got the sunroof but it, it drives well it's got a seven speed dct gearbox and there's nothing about it that the sports mode though i don't really it's much of a sports mode more than maybe a sharper throttle here and there sometimes i think some brands wouldn't even be doing this driving mode they should just do comfort and do eco you know and then you know just leave that and let us drive the cars normally because when we're buying this car sometimes we're not after performance and we just want a normal drive if we're rushed we'll just push the car on our own 
because when you when you start thinking sports mode, you're thinking maybe the suspension is going to stiffen up, the throttle is going to be sharper, the steering is going to be stiffer. But then again, it isn't. But it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. The overall, the car. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It scores a healthy seven out of ten in my books. There are things that I probably think can improve, and when we get it on test, we'll see uh, how far we can actually go with it. But so far, I am not gonna lie. The, the impressed car cool. Everything about it just says, and I mean, at 4:49 for the top of the range, it really is quite something. And this engine is not lazy either. 130 kilowatts and 305 newton meters of torque. And you can see that it picks up nicely so it's not one of those cars that you know if you have it oh it's a petrol it's a petrol and and what that's good is what's good about it is that you know even if it was laden you wouldn't be battling with it but all i know right now about this car and the chinese i know the chinese are coming for everything mark my words i don't know if they'll come for germany but they are coming for everything like subscribe tell us what you think the car will be there i've uploaded on my social so if you do follow me there you'll see what we're doing um and that's us for today